Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be attempting to recreate this look I found on Pinterest. It is like a frozen makeup look but it's the character Anna in eye makeup I guess. You probably would have seen it floating around. It's been around for a while. Um, the makeup artist Taj Peleg I think was her name created it so I'm going to try and attempt to recreate it. I'm actually really nervous because it is quite an intricate makeup look but I wanted to do Anna as like one of my Disney character series for a while and I was scrolling through Pinterest to get some inspiration and I found this picture and it looks really fun and it's so like pinpoints the character Anna so well. So I'm going to attempt it today and I say attempt because it looks really hard and I do want to challenge myself but in saying that challenging myself may mean that it will turn out like a complete flop or it might turn out well. Fingers crossed it turns out well. I know I'm going to be spending the next few hours attempting to do it. It's going to take me a little while. But I've got the day free so I thought I might as well just give it a try. I've wanted to do it for a while so today is as good enough as any. So yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I even like thought to do one eye first and then do my other eye like on camera. So at least I had a chance to try it. But I thought that's not as fun as trying it on camera so I thought... Let's just wing it together. So first of all, I'm going to take my paint pot from MAC. This is in the shade Soft Ochre. And I'm just going to apply that all over my lid. Just to create a nice neutralized base and really help those eyeshadows to stand out. Okay, so I'm just going to start with the brow bone first. I think looking at the picture, I just think, because it's got like a shimmery kind of highlight to the brow bone. Nothing too crazy and that's like the easiest step. I'm literally so nervous. <laughs> so for my brow bone highlight today, I'm going to take this highlight from my Folklore Superstar Highlighter Palette and just this kind of like golden champagne-y shade. I'm just going to place that on my brow bone. I didn't want a white because a white would be too stark and harsh, like a white highlight, like something white and shimmery. Whereas this one's a little bit more softer and goldeny. -er. Plus, I think a white would match like an Elsa look more than an Anna look for Frozen. <sighs> okay, so I think I'm going to just move on to the lid space and then just take it through the crease. Yeah. Actually, so I think I'm just going to go with the crease. Do I want to do the crease first? I'll do the crease first, that way I can just carve out the eyelid when I do it. That's what I'm going to do. So through her crease, it appears that she has like a light blue, almost kind of shimmery blue through the crease area. So I'm going to take a kind of satin kind of blue eyeshadow called Poolside and originally take that through my crease with a petite crease brush. I'm not used to like being so in the dark about a look like usually I'll practice it if it's something really hard or I'll at least do one eye first. But like attempting it on camera with you guys makes me nervous. So in the picture it like kind of flicks out a little bit, hence why I'm flicking it out. It's a bit like messy at the moment, but what I'm thinking is like once I do the liner and everything, I can just clean it up with concealer. And I'm bringing it about two thirds of the way across to the inner corner. Not all the way in, but like stopping just here. And then on a pencil brush, I'm going to take the shade Pegasus, which is like a foiled blue eyeshadow. It's very um, much like an icy blue, that's why I love it so much, especially for this kind of makeup look. I'm just going to place that along the blue poolside shade. Honestly, my feeling is that it's going to look crazy all the way up until I do the liner, and I feel like hopefully if I do the liner right, it should be smooth sailing, hopefully. Okay, so next I'm going to do a cut crease. So I'm just going to take a flat eye concealer brush and some concealer and I'm just going to carve out my crease and I'm carving out the whole lid area. <sighs> I like legit holding my breath the whole time. <laughs> so that's as good as we're going to get with the eye carving. Now it's time to fill it in. So she's got like a halo kind of smoky eye going on on the lid area. So it's like deep purples on the inner and outer corner and then this light kind of violety purple on the center of the lid. So I'm going to do that. It's almost even like a deep, deep blue purple on the very inner corner. So initially I'm just going to take this kind of deep 
plummy purple shade and place that on my inner and outer corners. And I'm just using a pencil brush to be more precise. And honestly I'm just switching between brushes to see what works and what isn't working. So I've switched to a precise shader brush from Zoeva to just kind of get in those nitty gritty places. So it's quite a petite small brush. So it's even like a pinkish shade on the centre of the lid. So I think I might just do the initial shades and then try and blend them in together afterwards. So I'm going to take this kind of pinky colour and place that on the very centre of my lid. At this point in time, I do not care about fallout. So if I've ended up with like a whole situation going on down here, if the eye looks good, then I don't even care. Okay, taking my pencil brush again, I'm going to try and blend the pink and the purple together with kind of like a mediator shade. So I'm going to take this kind of light purple from Makeup Geek in the shade Wisteria. So I'm going to kind of change these mattes into shimmers because I want the lid to be shimmery because it appears like she's got the shimmer on the lids and that just looks kind of boring, honestly. I'd rather it be shimmery. So what I want to start with is the inner and outer corners. So this is going to be the darkest bit here and at the outer corner there's like a deep sapphire blue. So I'm taking the shade Sapphire from Morphe. It's a single eyeshadow and it's a gorgeous shimmer. And I'm going to apply that to my very inner and outer corner using a precise shader brush to just really pack it on. Just kind of like that. So you see you've got like that sapphire blue peeking through. Next taking this shadow from the Jaclyn Hill palette called Royalty. It's a beautiful, beautiful deep purple. And again with that same brush. I'm just going to place that on next to the sapphire blue. And then taking this beautiful, like, lighter shimmery purple shade, I'm going to place that next to the deep purple. So essentially we're just creating a gradient into that halo eye. So I'm just leaving that center bit bare, and I've connected it across the top of the eye as well. So it kind of connects around and you've got the main shimmer on the center of the lid. So I'm going to take, I think I'm going to take both this kind of like iridescent purple from my Chi Chi palette and also the shade Black Light which is a duochrome eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. And actually I decided to go in with this like pinky shimmer instead just because I feel like the iridescent purples were a little bit too cool for Anna's look. She does actually have pink on her like overcoat thing so I thought the pink would tie in better with this look and I just kind of kept the base of the iridescence there so there is a bit of a peeking through kind of thing and I'm just kind of wiggling it just under that crease line just there so it kind of sits there's a little bit of a defined line but it's not going over the top of that purple there and I'm using some of that iridescent purple from the Chi Chi palette it's like a glitter almost it's not really a shadow I'm just sprinkling it over the pink, just for a little bit of an iridescent purple. Oh, guys, it's actually looking pretty decent. I was expecting at this stage of this look for it to be a complete flop and me getting all frustrated. But it's actually alright. It's alright. <laughs> okay, it's time. So I'm going to initially actually take like a black eyeshadow and just map out the wing semi along uh, the eye, the crease of the eye. I can see in the actual photo she's got like black eyeshadow on the inner corner and it's actually eyeshadow almost up until about halfway and then the liner kind of comes through and it's a bit more defined. So that's what I'm going to do and I feel like that's a safer option than just trying to do like a wing liner across the whole crease. Yeah. <sighs> Wish me luck. So taking my little precise shader brush again. This is the best brush ever. If I haven't raved about it enough. I'm going to dip into the eyeshadow Abyss from the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm taking it slow. If you couldn't tell. I think that's the best option for you guys if you're doing this look. Just take it slow. So I'm literally grabbing it a little bit at a time. And smudging it across this cr like cut crease line we've created like inch by inch, literally. 
As I'm getting to the outer corner, I'm kind of thickening up that line. So it's been quite thin up until about here. And it's getting a little bit thicker as we're creating that wing. And I'm mapping it out before I draw it on with wing liner. Just because eyeshadow is a lot more easy to manoeuvre than if I were to go in with liquid liner. Straight off the bat. I'm not game enough to do that. <sighs> Gotta clean this up a little bit. With some of that concealer or paint pot. Whatever your preference. I'm just cleaning that up. So I'm just trying to get the right shape so it kind of flicks out straight. Like that I think a little bit better than up. You know. And then there's a second like, wing liner down here. Which I'll attempt to do later. So I'm just going in with my Maybelline Hyper Sharp Liquid Liner. And just tracing over that black eyeshadow from about halfway. And just cleaning up this bit too. It looks okay. It's not as thick as hers, I don't think. Oh. What do you think? Is it thick? <sighs> this is a nerve-wracking bit. I have to take it back across. Mm. <sighs> Cleaning it up again. Okay, take two. Oh, actually... Could go on with a white eye coal. So I'm actually going to take a white eye coal and go back over where I want the black liner to go. I think going in with a white is so much easier to trace over with than nothing. It's a bit of guide. And then I'll go in with probably eyeshadow and then the eyeliner. I think that's okay. This is as good as it's gonna get. That actually looked okay. <laughs> now I've got to do that on this eye. Oh. I might even just like fill it in really quick with some of that Pegasus eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. Okay. So that's one eye done. I think I might just quickly do my other eye. We'll just speed through it. Hopefully it'll turn out alright. <laughs> Fingers crossed guys. Wish me luck. Ooh. It actually ended up alright. I think this is my better side. This one, the wing liner is a little bit thick, unfortunately. But what can you do? It's okay anyway. I'll probably fix it up when we apply the gold afterwards. So I'm just going to do like a normal winged liner and just leave like a little gap between this and this bottom liner. So just take your time with this step. I'm really using small, like, little strokes and very light pressure with this liquid liner. I actually feel like this liquid liner is, like, saving my life right now because the tip is so fine. Like, if I had anything else, like a different applicator or anything, I feel like I wouldn't be able to achieve this, like, remotely to what I've gotten it so far. And then just clean up where I need to. There we go. Okay. So next for like the gold kind of plait looking feature on the eye. I'm going to take this Napoleon Pertis Double Happiness Gold Gel Liner. It's not quite like the gold colour that's in the picture. But I will put a pigment over the top I think. This will just kind of map out the area that I want. <sighs> but I just don't know how I'm going to go about this. Because I don't really have petite little brush. Let's try this little brush here for at least this little bit in there. So I've got the outer bits done but I think I might switch to a white liquid liner and just kind of do the little bumps across the eyelid. If you have a gold liquid liner then I recommend using that for this step rather than a white. Then going in over the top with the foiled eyeshadow called Untamed. <laughs> oh my god, that actually worked. I was literally thinking, nah, nah. That, this is not going to work. That, that white eyeliner is not going to grip to the eyeshadow, but what do you know? <laughs> 
All right, I'm going to quickly go ahead and apply some false lashes and mascara and I'll be right back to finish off the bottom lash line. Okay guys, I'm back. I chose to go in with these pretty soft, wispy-ish kind of lashes. They're a little bit dramatic, but they don't cover up the eyeshadow, which I prefer because we have done a lot of work and we want to at least see the eyeshadow through the lashes. So they're just a little bit of drama, but nothing too crazy. These are the Icona lashes in the style Make Him Miss Me. And they're just a little bit pretty. So next, instead of doing like a deep waterline like this makeup artist has done in the photo, I've decided to put in a nude eye curl in my waterline. So I'm just going in with the model's prefer nude eye curl. Just to really open up the eyes. I don't want it to be too dark and smoky because the lid of the eye is so intense. Okay, next to really just kind of wrap up this bottom lash line real quick, I'm going to take the shade Neptune from Makeup Geek. And with a pencil brush, I'm just going to wiggle it against my bottom lash line. I'm just starting from outer corner and buffing it toward the inner corner. Just leaving this area blank. Then I'm going to take that shimmery shade Sapphire and just kind of buff that over the top of Neptune. And then finally I'm going to take the shade poolside from the Jaclyn Hill palette and place that on like the inner tear duct area as like a little bit of a highlight and then finally I'm just going to put on some mascara on my bottom lashes oh my god Where? oh thank god this turned out good like this did not even like occur in my mind it would actually turn out half like decent let alone like good I'm so happy with how it turned out. I hope you guys enjoy this video too. I didn't really take, like, I wasn't going to take this look, like, super seriously until it actually started to work out. I was like, oh, oh. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of tutorial. It's very much more chilled and relaxed. I did talk through, like, what my steps were, but I did not expect a positive outcome. <laughs> I hope you guys did like this video. If you did, please leave a big thumbs up before you leave and leave any more requests or comments down below, like, if you want me to do another Disney character, which character do you want me to do? Because Anna was, or Anna, sorry, was my last one that I was thinking about doing. But if you have any more, like, Disney characters that you want me to recreate in an eye makeup look, then let me know, please. Otherwise, have an awesome day, guys. I love you all so much, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.